More and more highway ramps in the metro are getting meter lights, but do you know the rules on when to stop and when to go? Traffic expert Jason Luber joins us now. Jason, one viewer had questions after a family member got a ticket. Yeah, it was Mary from Denver who says her son got a ticket, so she writes to me saying, what's driving you crazy? If you're coming up to the ramp meter light, no one is in front of you or beside you, and the time you get there, it turns green. Do you need to stop? Her son got a ticket for timing out the light to reach it when it was green. Well, Mary, I sat near a meter light recently and watched multiple people blow right through the red light. I watched one person slowing down, get a green light and go. This is a tricky one as it seems that the legality is really up to the discretion of the officer that sees it happen. My feeling is that any driver using a ramp that has an active meter light that is flashing red and green should be approached slowly enough to stop if the light is red, but not be ticketed if you roll through when the light is green. Since my opinion isn't worth squat, it comes to <laughs> it comes to getting a ticket or not. I asked several law enforcement agencies who patrol ramps with meter lights your question. Opinions varied from that it wouldn't be a violation to the driver needs to stop when the lights are active and wait for the green to go. As with many scenarios when driving, doing something wrong is many times up to the discretion of the officer, but that ticket is not the final say. It's technically just a summons to court. Your son can and should make his argument to the traffic judge and see how the judge rules. Most people just sign a ticket, basically admitting to guilt in exchange for a lesser penalty and a lower fine. And since law enforcement opinion that I mentioned in this story is mixed, your son might be able to persuade a judge to see the situation in his favor. You can read about uh, each of what the law enforcement agency that I contacted said about this scenario right now on the DenverChannel.com. You just click on Denver 7 Traffic and then driving you crazy.